Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this session, we will see SAP WM Good Receipt and Issue Process. So, the agenda for the session is Good Receipt Process followed by Goods Issue Process. So, let's start with Good Receipt Process. Good Receipt means we are receiving a material. Good Receipt Process will start from Inventory Management and it will end in WM. So, let's take an example for this case. Suppose we have to procure a material from vendor. So, in this case, we will be creating a purchase order. Once the purchase order will be created, vendor will supply a good to us. In this case, a good receipt document or a material document will be posted and we can check stock at storage location level. This means our material has moved to storage location. So, our, our IM work is complete now. Then we will move material to WM. So, in this case, a requirement will be created and then we will create a transfer order and then our goods will move to destination bin. So, let us see the step to post good receipt in IM and WM. First, we will post a material document in IM via transaction code MIGO and movement type is 501. Then next, once material document is posted in IM, the things to be noted here are at storage location, our stock will be increased. This means our IM work is complete now. A transfer requirement will be posted in background and it will be visible in WM tab of material document. Then next, material has moved to interim storage area and we can check stock in LS26. Once a transfer requirement is created, then next we will create a transfer order that will be in reference to material document and we can create it via LT03 and it will contain details of source and destination storage bin. Then we will confirm transfer order via LT12 and we can then check stock in destination bin via LS26. So let's move to goods issue process. Goods issue means we are issuing material. Goods issue process will start from inventory management and it will end in WM. Let us take an example of goods issue process. Suppose we have to issue goods to someone. So in this case, we will be creating a sales order and in reference to sales order, our outbound delivery will be created or a material document will be posted. So our IM work will be complete at that point and then we will be picking goods from WM that is from warehouse. So for that, we will be creating a transfer requirement followed by a transfer order. So let us move to the steps to post goods issue in IM and WM. First, a material document will be posted in IM via transaction code MIGO and movement type is 201. Once a material document is posted in IM, things to be noted here are at storage location, our stock will be decreased and we can check in MMBE. Secondly, a transfer requirement will, will be created in background and that will be visible in WM tab of material document. Once a transfer requirement is created, a transfer order will be created in reference to material document via LT03. Then we can check stock in LS26. After transfer order creation, a quant will be generated and we can check that in interim storage area. Then we will confirm transfer order via LT12 and our stock will be removed from interim storage area. So that's all for this video.